This is a big one. Something is coming to YouTube that creators have been begging for for years, and it is a game changer. But to understand why, you'll have to answer this question first. Take a look at this video title and then these thumbnails. Of the two, which are you more likely to click on? Let us know in the comments. Now, weirdly, your actual answer to this question isn't that important. Not yet, anyway. What is important is why I'm asking this question in the first place. Because this represents choice. Something that creators have never had before when it comes to thumbnails. We're excited to announce that we've been doing early testing of a new feature called Test and Compare, otherwise known as AB Thumbnail Testing. <sighs> Nice. And this is basically how it works. The creator uploads two thumbnails to the same video and YouTube shows different thumbnails to different users at the same time. So you as a creator can determine which thumbnail works best. Details of this new feature are sparse given YouTube's only public mention so far is this one minute video. But here's what we do know. It's not coming anytime soon. 2024 at the earliest. Right now, YouTube are trialing it with just a few hundred creators. So why are they telling all of us now? Well, it is one of the biggest requested tools on YouTube for ages, and it's been rumored for years, which is why we here at vidIQ never built one. And here's something really interesting. YouTube are upgrading on the concept. You don't just get to test two thumbnails, you can test Three, it's ABC thumbnail testing. Currently we have just two screenshots to work with and this is one of them, presumably the three thumbnail upload screen. And this is the other one, a result screen. What I find interesting here is that the measurements are based on watch time rather than click-through rate, which instinctively feels weird, but we'll have to wait and see. It looks like at the end of a test, YouTube will automatically pick the most successful thumbnail to keep using, but you can do another test if you want. All of which leaves us with a lot of questions. What time period can you set these tests over? Can you do a test with just two thumbnails instead of three. Can you compare and test titles at the same time? Yeah, I'm probably asking for a bit too much on that one. Is there going to be a requirement to use this feature, such as being in the YouTube Partner Program? And what do you think of my new studio? Needs a bit more work, but let us know in the comments below. We've been preaching about the importance of thumbnails for years. So this compare and test tool is surely only a good thing, right? Well, yes, mostly. Any opportunity to create, compare and test is going to enable you to make better data-driven decisions on your content. But thumbnails, good thumbnails, take a long time to make. And so now all of a sudden you're expected to make three per video. Who is likely to benefit most from this tool? Large channels with resources, people, time, and money. And when that happens, the gap between the haves and have-nots gets wider. And that could be a problem within the creator community. But am I just being cynical to start an argument? I'll let you be the judge of that. <sighs> I tell you what, it's been a busy couple of weeks at YouTube. Not only did they lower the monetization requirements, but now they're releasing one of the most requested tools ever. Oh, monetization? You haven't heard about that? You best check this video over here. In the meantime, I didn't leave any room for this, did I?